So first thing you want to do is take 200 grams of taro and cut them into cubes. When you're done cutting them, put them into a bowl and steam them until they can be easily pierced with a fork. Once you're done steaming them, you want to take a fork and mash the taros up while they're hot, so be careful, until they are completely mashed and pretty smooth. To this, now you want to add 110 grams of tapioca starch and mix it together until it is crumbly. The mixture should not be come together yet, so don't worry about that. Just make sure that the tapioca starch is mixed in pretty well. I ended up having to move split to split this in half and put it in another bowl because it was just too much for my one bowl. Now you want to add in about 4 tablespoons of hot water to the tapioca mixture and mix it together until it forms somewhat of a dough. When your dough basically formed together, you want to put this dough onto a surface and knead it until it comes together. So roll your dough into a log and cut it into four sections and then cut those into another four sections. Then you want to take each section and roll it out into a log and cut little rectangular pieces. Once you're done cutting your rectangular pieces, you want to smooth out the side and shape, make the shape a little cleaner and nicer and then put it in a bowl with tapioca starch so it doesn't stick. Repeat this until you are completely done with the dough. Once you have made all the little rectangles, you want to put them in a pot of boiling water and then just leave it there until they start floating up to the surface. You want to stir it once in a while so that it doesn't stick on the bottom. They should come up within a minute or two and just wait until all of them float to the top. Now once it reaches to the top, you want to let it boil, let the water boil again, and then cook them for one minute, and then you are done. Once you're done, you want to take them out, rinse them in cold water, and then put in about two tablespoons of sugar so that these don't stick together. Mix these together so that the sugar is, is mixed in and melted, and we are done. So with these, you can make any types of desserts you want, but today I'm going to be doing a grass jelly dessert. So here's my grass jelly that I made earlier with a grass jelly powder, and to this I'm going to add a few scoops of the taro sweetened tapioca balls that we made earlier, as well as some boba that I made earlier. You can use frozen or you can make it from scratch like I did. I will put the video that I made on this in the link in the description box down below so you guys can check that out too. Add on all your toppings and we are done. 